you're questioning my manliness while both you know and I know that if it came to it, I wouldn't even need to hit you with my fists. I could just slap the shit out of you. Hi, it's vegan personal trainer and nutritionist Paul from Hench Herbivore. And in this video, I put contrarian carnivore dieter Frank Tofano right about veganism and protein. On a diet devoid of animal foods, vegan, plant-based, fairy boy. Who are you calling fairy boy, you little pipsqueak? Whatever you'd like to call it. I imagine you'd probably call me sir to my face. There are specific arguments that vegans bring up to counter any reason to eat animal foods. That's because there is no reason to eat corpses. Unless you're tired of living pro-animal abuse and want to fuck up the planet for your children. Protein being one of them. Well, I'm bigger and stronger than you are, so I guess we could just finish the video here. The loose idea is that a vegan diet doesn't have enough protein compared to someone consuming animal foods. That statement makes no sense. It either is or is not possible to get enough protein as a vegan. What other people are eating is irrelevant. And now, Frank, I'm bigger than you and far stronger than you, so shut your trap. Vegans debunk this by explaining that different plant foods have different amino acid profiles, and by diversifying your plant-based food choices, you can get all of the amino acids your body needs. Well, yeah, because it's true. I'm not having any difficulty. Again, I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. You know, eat this quinoa, eat this brown rice, eat this soy BS until you grow tits. I don't know any male vegan bodybuilders with tits. Show evidence for the bullshit you keep making up. Oh yeah, you can't cause it's bullshit. This implies that by consuming something that has a measured nutrient, your body is absorbing it, but the paper value of a food isn't what your body gets. Well, again, I'm bigger and stronger than you, so I won't worry too much. Also, it cuts both ways. Dairy calcium, for example, is far less bioavailable than calcium from plants. Yet dairy consumers don't worry about getting adequate amounts. If that was true, we wouldn't be pooping at all because we'd absorb all of it, right? The f is he on about now? And it does seem suspicious that vegans bring this argument up to debunk it. Any argument that vegans want to talk about, they tend to bring it up themselves as opposed to it being an organic discussion. Before we jump into the science and mechanisms in the body, we can just disregard this anecdotally. You don't have to look far to see the muscle wasting aspects of a vegan diet. Yeah, I'm half your size. Uh, oh no, wait a minute, I'm far bigger and far stronger than you. You don't have to look far to see the positive body composition changes when someone goes carnivore, consumes more animal protein. Boo! You had to add carbohydrate when you started your so-called amazing carnivore bodybuilding challenge. I haven't done any ex-vegan interviews in a while, but the ones years ago on my channel demonstrate every single person that goes vegan to just omnivore, let alone carnivore, putting on 10 to 15 pounds of lean body mass simply by eating meat again. Both. I'm bigger than you, I'm stronger than you, and I've not eaten meat in eight years. If the vegan diet had enough protein, why do 99% of vegans look like decaying, corpse, ghoulish, goblin-like zombies? Show proof. According to the actual data, vegans are the only dietary group to be in the healthy BMI range. A better question would be, why are most non-vegans fat or obese? If the vegan diet had enough protein, why do all of the vegan bodybuilders need to chug down gallons of plant-based nonsense protein powder? Gallons of protein shakes, I use two scoops. When I ate omnivorously, I drank six protein shakes a day. Do other non-vegan bodybuilders use protein shakes, Frank? Yes, they all do, and you know it. It's sad how much you have to lie to try to defend your position. And why is that? because animal abuse is indefensible. And inject their tushies with vegan testosterone made from yams. You're the one on Reddit inquiring about steroids. Meanwhile, here's my latest testosterone report. Why are you lying, Frank? Why am I bigger than you and stronger than you? 
For them, it's not about looking healthy or being natural. It's about being vegan, saving the animals. Saving the animals. Is it unmasculine to stand up for the weak in your pathetic mind? It takes far more courage than you have, little boy. Which is why you can't do it. And pushing the agenda they've been brainwashed into. Define brainwashed. I looked at the evidence and changed my ways in the light of the balance of data, becoming whole foods plant-based for health. Meanwhile, you've been lied to since birth that we need meat for a protein, which we don't. I'm bigger than you and I'm stronger than you. And you've been bombarded with meat and dairy adverts your entire life. So much so that you believe that we need meat for a protein. Who's the brainwashed one? In order to understand why plant protein doesn't cut it, we have to look at how muscle is built in the first place. Something you know nothing about. You put on like five pounds after months and months and months of this so-called bodybuilding transformation. The vast majority of which is simply glycogen and the associated water since you cleverly added in carbohydrate to your pretend carnivore diet. What we're trying to answer is if a vegan diet can build muscle tissue. Well, I'm bigger than you and stronger than you, so. And muscle building is referred to as anabolism. I'm sure you guys have heard of gym bros drinking protein shakes after their workout. Oh. You've heard about that now, have you? It's just that earlier you only accused vegans of doing that. Thanks for pointing out your hypocrisy. So they don't go catabolic, remaining in an anabolic metabolism. What this guy basically does is throw out a couple of semi-fancy words to sound intelligent, whilst not providing any actual evidence to back up his claims, as you'll see going forwards. Thing is, anabolic pathways use ATP that is produced by catabolic pathways. These two catabolic pathways are the citric acid cycle, aka the Krebs cycle, and the urea cycle. A vegan diet does not provide your body with the nutrients required to run these two pathways in a proper metabolic state. See what I mean? Speculation and no evidence. Meanwhile, Frankie boy, yeah, you know what's coming, don't you? I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. So at the top here, right off the bat, we see that a vegan diet would be lacking in fat and protein. Which vegan diet? There are unlimited vegan diets. Personally, I get around 200 grams of protein and 100 grams of fat daily. I could get tons more as I'm actually eating a high carbohydrate diet. Why are you always lying, Frank? I noticed that you never do a response to any of my videos calling you out because you know I'm right. A lack of fatty acids in the diet impairs glycolysis, therefore interfering with acetyl coenzyme A metabolism. If I didn't produce sufficient acetyl coenzyme A, Frank, I'd be dead. It is required by our bodies in order for us to produce cholesterol. It may have escaped your notice, but I'm vegan, so I consume no dietary cholesterol. So again, you're lying. Why you always lying? A lack of protein impairs pyruvate metabolism, acetyl coenzyme A metabolism, the citric acid cycle, and the urea cycle. Each of these molecules are crucial for energy metabolism, as well as processing amino acids, ultimately determining energy capacity, muscle building, and recovery capability. Again, speculation provide proof for your silly hypothesis. How do I know is silly? I'm bigger than you, I'm stronger than you. That's my proof, where's yours? On top of this, plant-based proteins like soy and wheat are more readily converted to urea as opposed to animal-based proteins. Yeah, well, animal products will kill ya. On the plus side, it appears as though he's referencing some actual data for once, but somewhat unscrupulously, he's not cited it anywhere, which is a huge red flag for me and, well, anyone with a brain. Kind of funny how the vegans are always saying that animal meat rots in your stomach, whatever. Well, plant protein rots in your body and turns to ammonia. Plant foods in the absence of animal products pass from mouth to anus in just 12 to 16 hours. Whereas the meat that you eat is in the colon putrefying for days. Just look up the colon cancer rates for vegans versus non-vegans. The vegan diet is lacking in vitamins needed for proper methylation. The vegan diet again. Which vegan diet? Not mine, all my nutrients test bang at the top of range. Resulting in high circulating homocysteine levels. Nope, mine's low. 
These metabolic cycles are limited so much on a vegan diet, it becomes obvious why vegan athletes fall completely apart after being vegan for just a few months. Novak Djokovic, Serena Williams, Cam Newton, their performance drops. Three athletes, three. Do non-vegan athletes get injuries? Why yes, I believe they do. I was plagued with injuries as a meat eater. Too much inflammation. I'm so much better now, and I'm so much bigger and stronger than you. If these vegan clowns understood human metabolism as well as I did. Right, that's it, Frank. I'm calling you out. I'm gonna be doing some extensive traveling in the future. Gemma's been to New York before. She's keen to go again, and I'm gonna come with her. I want me and you, Frank, to go to a gym together, number one, so you can see with your own eyes how much bigger and stronger I am than you. And two, we can see if you want to call me fairy boy or clown to my face. I want to caveat this by saying I genuinely never want to lay my hands on another human in anger ever again. But this needs to be said. You're questioning my manliness while both you know and I know that if it came to it, I wouldn't even need to hit you with my fists. I could just slap the out of you. Anyway, just ignore all that like usual if you're the fairy boy clown. If you've got an ounce of masculinity, let's arrange it. Treat me with the respect I deserve and I think we could have a fun time, Frank. I've certainly enjoyed corresponding with you over email in the past. Now click this.